This video is to provide you with some examples of coterminal and reference angle problems that you might come up with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just write some angles in degrees and we're going to find a couple of different coterminal angles for them as well as what the reference angle is. I'm going to try to pick degrees that are in different quadrants so that we can really utilize all the rules discussed in the last video. So let's see, maybe, maybe at first I'll do, I'll do 60 degrees over here and then uh, maybe I'll do 210 degrees over here and maybe I'll do uh, 170 degrees. I'll do, let's see, what else can I do? I'll do 355 degrees, um, 182 degrees and let's just go with uh, 310 degrees. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is find two coterminal angles for each of these. Uh, so we know that the way to find coterminal angles is by adding some multiple of 360. So we can do uh, our angle plus 360 times n, where n represents some integer. So any any different value for n will give us a different coterminal angle, which is which is valid. Um, so uh, I'm going to try n as one. So I'm just going to add 360 times one to 60. So where, where n is 1, this just becomes 60 plus 360, which would give me uh, 420. I can also go the opposite way with this. I can, I can do negative 1, and that's most commonly what you're, what you're going to end up picking. So I can do 60 minus 360, which would give me negative 300. Now, as far as finding the reference angle, the first thing I want to do is I want to plot 60, because I need to see which quadrant is this in. Well, we know our quadrantals are 0, 90, uh, 180, 270, and 360. So seeing that 60 is between 0 and 90, I know that this angle would be in my first quadrant here. Now, what is the distance between, or what is the angle measure between this angle and the x-axis? Well, when I'm in the first quadrant, the closest x-axis is the positive x-axis right here. Another thing to know, uh, based off the previous rules, is that when I'm in the first quadrant, I can see that my angle is actually just equal to what my reference angle is. So since I'm in quadrant one, my reference angle would be 60 degrees. Let's try this next one. Let's try 210. So in order to find two coterminal angles, I'm just going to add 360 and I'm going to subtract 360. I could also do any multiple of 360. I could add 720. I could add 1080. I could subtract either one of those as well. Uh, but I'm just going to add 360 and I'm going to subtract 360. So add it together. Uh, this would give me 470. And subtracting 360, this would give me, um, I believe, negative 150. Now, how do I find the reference angles? Well, once again, I want to go ahead and draw my plane, my xy coordinate plane, and I want to see, okay, where does 210 belong? Well, if, if this is 0, this is 90, this is 180, this is 270, and this is 360, we can see that the 210 lies in between 180 and 270. So that will put it right here in quadrant 3. Now, how do we figure out what the reference angle is? Well, the reference angle is, again, just the distance, uh, the, not the distance, I keep saying that, the angle measure between the x-axis and my angle. So that would be that right there. That's, that's my reference angle that I'm looking for. Well, if this whole measure from all the way from the positive x-axis, let me pick a weird color for this. Let's go with white. Um, from my positive x-axis to this angle represents 210 degrees. Uh, well, I know that all the way through here is 180. So this yellow part here, this yellow section right there, must be the difference between 210 and 180 because this part plus this part has to add up to the whole thing. So in order to figure out what it is, it would be 210 minus 180. You can also memorize the rule that within the third quadrant, your reference angle is equal to your angle minus 180. So that will give you 30 degrees. Try 170. Again, I can add 360 and subtract 360. I think uh, you know students usually don't have too much trouble with these coterminal angles. Um, so I might rush that a little bit. Uh, this should be you know 
become as quick to you at some point as it as it is to me now. So let's see, 170 minus 360, the difference there would be, uh, I believe, negative 190. I'm not using a calculator here, so there's a chance my arithmetic's off. If you see it, please leave a comment and let me know. Let the other students know as well. Now, as far as figuring out the reference angle, well, 170 is between 90 and 180, so therefore it is going to lie right here in quadrant two. The distance to the x-axis would be given by this. And so it would be for quadrant two, it's 180 minus the angle is what gives us our reference angle. So here that would be 10 degrees. 355, and I think this will be the last one I do. This video is getting a, a little bit long and I'm doing one from each quadrant. I'll give you the answers to the, to the next two. I'll give you the answers to the next two, but um, I uh, want you to try them on your own. So 355, well that's between 270 and 360. So that tells me that it is here in this quadrant pretty close to 360, probably even closer than I have drawn there, but I want to make it clear where the reference angle is. So the reference angle is right there. Uh, we can see that it's quadrant four. For quadrant four, it's 360 minus the angle is what gives me my reference angle. So in this case, my reference angle would be five degrees. Um, for a coterminal angle, you would add 360 and subtract 360 from uh, 355. So let me give you some answers for these ones. Uh, here, my reference angle is two, and my coterminal angles would be plus 360 and minus 360 of 182, so you can do that in your calculator. I don't think that's, that's too hard at this point. And here, my reference angle would be 50. But now I want you to try these two, and I want you to make sure you understand why those are the answers that I come up with. 